you have to log into the wireless modem. So I'm already logged into the wireless modem. This is step number one. And step number two is wireless status. It's status. In here, it, it's, it gives you the status of the wireless, like what is going on. So it says it is secure, it is enabled. So uh, this is the SSID. So radio enabled, I mean, radio is enabled, the broadcast is enabled. You can, uh, people can find the wireless modem uh, through this name and the channel is automatic, it is automatic, it's not specified. So WP, WP in, in terms of security, neither of these are open, but it's a WPA2, which is more advanced and this is the password. So this is the password and the SSID broadcast is enabled. So the, um, the, the MAC authentication, guys, this MAC authentication is disabled. This is the information. Wireless modem compatible. So this is for BGN, guys. Remember that we, we if, 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 if you remember, we discussed about the 802.11 standard. So this modem, that's why it's the most recent modem. This is uh, compatible with the uh, 802.11b, 802.11g, 802.11n as well. So this is also on and the PS is disabled. So the WPS is disabled. Uh, this is for if you want, if you have a wireless uh, printer, if you want to enable this one, then the wireless printer automatically connect with this one if you press that button. So receive packet, this is the receive packet, the send packet. So this is the factory default. This is the factory default, and this is what I don't want. Exactly, we don't want this one. Let's log in. Let's see how we can configure the basic stuff. This is how to, uh, this is how you can turn on and off. If I this one, if I turn this one off, mean bye bye. I mean, no one will be able to see, no one will be able to uh, see this SSID. I will turn this one on. I will change this one to uh, Elias. Take my YouTube channel name. So in here, I will say I, I will keep the channel one. I want to keep the channel one. I mean, from one to eleven, I will keep the channel one. So on the um, on the portion of the wireless troubleshooting, we're going to discuss about what is the disadvantage of auto and what's the advantage of picking the channel. So remember that. So this is WPA. This is I say it's off. If I, if I turn this one on. So see if you look at in here um, the wireless network and for greater protection of against hacking security. So you have to keep this one off. So this is not good because it's available. Any anything can connect to your wireless uh, modem without any uh, purpose. So this is the uh, this is the code or the digital code in case if you want. So I will I will leave it whatever it is. So I just change the SSID and I turn I will keep this one off. And this is the code in case if I want, so WPA code, if I want to connect the, 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 the WEP key. So remember that this is the key. This is when, whenever you want to configure the printer. I mean, I didn't want to make you complicated. This is not something that you have to focus on. So apply, apply. Please wait while we apply the change setting. All right, so if I come to the main, just come to the main. So if I come to the main, what I'm going to do is that, or if I come to the wireless, yeah, wireless studies, if you look at in here, so radio is on and SSID is Elias Tech, and this is the password. This is how you can assign the password to wireless modem. So if you have, a, for example, right now, let me grab my phone and see if I'm able to access the, um, Let's see. I will record this one as well to leave you guys with information. Uh, let me change the uh, password. Password is very complicated. So, uh, all right. So let's do one thing. Before uh, I access this uh, wireless network, what I'm going to do is that there is another way where we can. Uh, this is the advanced ways to to make the wireless more secure. Let's come to the advanced. I would say I will pick the WPA2. Once I pick this one, it says, so that this is the default configuration. I will say, mm -hmm. I will not use the default configuration. So that was the default wireless, or we can say this is a wireless password. I want to keep it very simple. I will say Elias. Uh, E, uh, e is capital and T is capital. Ash 2023. 
so i will keep this one uh, just keep uh, the same advanced encryption algorithm i will keep it advanced encryption algorithm and i will say apply so remember that my password is this is how you can assign the password 832.1x it is the strongest authentication we're going to discuss about in the security portion as well but let's apply gonna take time gonna take time I need you guys attention as well i know it's gonna take time but be patient it's very important all right i'm coming back to the uh, main or i i have to come to while well setting the studies okay so we just changed the password so we're kind of lazy people don't do that don't 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 be very lazy <laughs> all right what i'm going to do is that first i need to record um just give me one second all right i have to turn on the wi-fi once i turn on the wi-fi i should be a witness of wi-fi name by the name of Elias Tech. oh there you go this is Elias Tech. all right what was the password it was e capital Elias. then tech f uh 2023 let's see if i'm able to connect the internet there you go i'm able to access so no internet access no worry about this one so we our modem is not connected to the internet but the most important thing is that we have to come in here this is the range of ip 192.168.1.7 as my ip and the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and router as 192.168.1.1 there you go we are able to access what we are able to access our wireless monitor.